Hello, welcome back to 3D Drawing Pin Model Railway. So far, we've got the, the base wagons pretty much complete. Um, we've got the bogies and some of the detailing uh, underneath to work on, but at this point, I'm, I'm going to leave this wagon as, as where we are, and then I'm going to move on to um, the stabling wagon, which uses pretty much the same wagon. Um, you know, all the details down one end is the same, all the underframe details is pretty much the same, some steps and stuff added in. Um, but this, this is the next wagon we're moving on to. So today's episode, what I'm going to do is be setting up the files ready to start creating this. And we're going to be using the intermediate wagon as the base to work from. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new file. Um, so it's just a case of just using your whole file save as. Make sure you're in the correct folder. And I'm going to call this Stable Wagon. Okay, so obviously with the Stable Wagon, when we look at it, um, the majority of the, the wagon doesn't have any more of these um, clamps or anything on there, so I'm just going to just turn those off. Get rid of those quite simply. Next, thing we're going to do is create uh, so we get the canvases back out, and I'm just going to move the canvas so that it lines up with the, the diagram for the stable. Wagon. So we just to open the canvas back up and edit the canvas. So we can then just drag this. Come up 29.6 for mine there. It looks pretty much where we want it. We know left and right, that's in the right position, so we don't need to worry about that, but just coming up to the correct height is going to make the important difference. So the next thing we're going to do is remove everything from the end of this rail the end of the wagon on top surface. So to re remove all that, what I'm going to do is create an offset plane. And I'm going to do that plane from the front edge of the wagon here. And I'm just going to drag that offset plane down in line with where the rail ends here. I'm going to go 53 minus 53.5 and click on OK. Now that I've got that, I'm going to create a sketch on that offset plane. Okay, and we're going to project on the top height of the buffer beam here. I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm going to snap it to whatever height that is. You can see I'm just Selecting the line there, going from one side and dragging across above the height of the stanchions. Then we've got this rectangle shape, finish the sketch, select the rectangle, and then I'm going to extrude that. Make sure I'll go the right way, so along towards the cab end, just removing everything. And I'm not going to go all the way over the buffers, because we don't want to set the top of the buffer off, but I'm going all the way along so it should remove everything above the As you can see, it hasn't removed everything we need to get rid of. We've got these little bits that chewed out the side here from the rail, and we've got the bits on the end of the buffer beam, but these will be easy enough to fix. So 
So the knee's just going to go along, extrude the end, flush, cutting it back in. See how that's going to work. And it's going to do that with all of these. Okay, so you can either do it two ways, either do it as I was just showing you there, where I was extruding each one, or you can select and hold down the shift and then just cut them back in together. So we'll select these, I'm just going to do these with the shift version. those removed and now we've got these bits on the end of the top of the thing. Now these are a little bit harder to sort out. Um, I think the easiest way to do this is to create a sketch on the front of the top of the thing. And slice through to that point and then it's just going to be a case of drawing a, a cute like box or a rectangle or whatever shape you want to use around these. So a bit like this. So it comes down It doesn't really matter what shape you do as long as you select all the bits you want to get rid of. Again, we're doing the cut. We just cut to 0.5. That will then bring all these bits back in, you can see. And then we'll just edit that to then cover all of the muscles. Okay, that's them all removed now, so you're back to where you're sort of looking for the flat end, flat buffer beam, and everything sorted. The next thing I want to do is remove these stanchions here. So I'm going to create uh, an offset plane from top of stanchions. Just going to come up slightly on it. And then above the top of it, I'm going to draw a rectangle that covers them all up. So I've tried going in the history and suppressing them, but it just causes a list of errors. So the easiest way is to just do this really. Down into extrude and extrude up to the floor and cut those away. So they're obviously gone now. Okay, so now we've gone and deconstructed this work and we're back to a point now where we can start to reconstruct it, which we'll work on in the next lesson. Um, it's a bit of a bits and pieces type scenario here, but you know, we've got to a point where it was needed to pull it all apart to get to this point, but we needed to construct it in the way we did so that we had everything required for up to this point models rather than trying to create a model going backwards and forwards and duplicating parts. So this is probably the easiest way to have done it. Um, there's probably other ways, but I'm sure somebody who's a lot more clever with uh, Fusion can probably tell me those. But you know, we've done this now, and as I say, when the next on the next lesson, we'll start to reconstruct into the stabling wagon what's required. So thanks for watching and hope you're able to follow along. If you haven't have any questions then please you know, send us a message and I'll try and help you out with it.